Hey guys, who are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the next seven days for Pisces placements. So if you have Pisces as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node in your birth chart, this reading will be for you. Everything that you need to know about myself, the reading and the channel can be found in the description box below. We're going to get into your read. This is the Modern Witch Tarot that we're using today. So Angels of Love and Light, could please have clear and concise messages for Pisces placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node, what do they need to know for the current energies for the next seven days from whenever they come across this reading? What do they need to know, please and thank you? What do they need to know, please and thank you? Two more shuffles and then we'll cut up the deck and get into your read, so thank you for your patience. What's going on? What's going on for Pisces? Okay, that wanted to come through. And this one, wow, okay, why? My hand was starting to feel really shaky. So something is shaking up in your life. I'm really getting that. Wow, why am I feeling so shaky? Something may throw you a little bit off guard with a particular change that's coming through for you. Um, it may be a good thing. It may be a bad thing. It may be something that's neutral that doesn't really affect you so much. But it could be affecting a close um, like person to you, like a loved one or you know, a friend or something like that, potentially, but something may be getting shaken up. Um, but it does affect you in some way, but it may not be directly about you as well as. So just take that as it may resonate, right? The devil, Capricorn energy and the queen of cups. Wow. So this is your energy coming through. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the devil and the emperor, Aries energy. Okay, with the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles and Judgment. Sagittarius energy. Okay. Right, I'm going to clarify this. I'm going to clarify this. I feel a little bit like I'm getting so many messages to the point where I'm, I'm wanting something to be narrowed down. Why is the Devil and the Queen of Cups here? We're bearing in mind the other cards that came through, but I just want to get a few extra cards about this. Normally, King of Swords. Ooh, okay. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, okay, the Chariot. Cancer's energy. What's this about? The Fool, Aries energy, and the Six of Swords. And this one wanted to come through as well. Eight of Swords and the Three of Cups. Okay. Some of you, some of you, this could be pertaining to a divorce. Um, or this could be in regards to something legal. Something to do with property, something to do with assets, something to do with land. There's documentation that it's it's involving you and somebody or to do with someone that you used to be associated with, but maybe not anymore. And you could be hearing news about that particular individual. I feel like there's some sort of truth that's coming to light, something that was hidden 444 on my timer is getting made available and ready to you and some of you may have been doubting as to whether you made the right decision to move yourself forward away from someone and I feel like you know that you have I feel like there could have been somebody who was very controlling very power hungry wanting to be um, very much in control of everything somebody quite manipulative and I feel like you have got out of a situation this could have been something that was recent or even a long time ago but something is being brought back up to the surface even this was a while ago something's coming through where something is highlighted to you and you're going to be receiving confirmation that you made of the right decision to do with something but at one point you may have really doubted yourself um, you could be hearing news or getting communication, maybe even, you know, from a third party, like another source of sorts, right? In regards to your association or your older association with this person, as in from quite some time ago. 
I'm picking up, unfortunately, I'm picking up on something where someone is getting into a spot of tr a trouble, a spot of bother, okay? And I am picking up on somebody trying to feel like they could easily not get caught or escape of a situation. I'm hearing scot-free, right? Like they felt like they were going to outsmart someone this person may have been quite arrogant or thought that they were better than others here i'm getting a little bit of a snooty energy as well somebody who's very who is a very intelligent person but i feel like they did off something and they thought that nothing or no one was going to be finding out about this like they've kept it in the dark or they felt like they've been very successful with keeping something in the dark but something is being brought up it's being illuminated here and it's really going to be making you feel quite shaky like shaken up here because you may have never even thought that this would be something that could even be possible or felt like somebody like this person would stoop this low to do of something like this or like this person had that capacity to do of whatever this was. Or you may have intuitively felt like they did. But you didn't have the physical evidence. So therefore. Wow I'm getting all shaky here. Someone is. um, Someone is being guided to safety. You have been guided to safety. And you need to be getting out of your head as much as you are. In your head. There's something about you celebrating some sort of news coming through for you and it's going to be giving your confidence back i'm hearing you're going to be feeling a lot more self-assured and trusting of your intuition here with whatever it is that you decided to do beforehand or something that you've been contemplating over recently now this may not be to do with anything in regards to a, a romantic connection or someone that you associated with, like an ex, it could potentially be even a someone that's a higher up in your work, um, a boss, a supervisor, a manager, somebody here who I'm hearing was playing dirty, who was playing dirty here, and I feel like they may have felt like they were never going to be sussed out. You may have brought it to somebody else's attention that they were a bit suspect, I'm hearing. But you may have told us someone, but then it, it backfired on you. And then potentially you were maybe told to leave. Um, or you got kind of fired from a position or you were told to leave quietly here and just hand in your resignation. And feel like you were uh, silenced over some sort of injustice. I'm hearing who they're going to believe me, then they're going to believe you. Like, who are they going to believe more? And it's gonna, it's me. Like, somebody somebody may have said this to you. And you may have felt like, oh my gosh, this was just really, really painful. Um, I'm not going to get my justice. Like, somebody's going to get away with whatever this is. But they're not. I'm hearing karma is coming back around to bite them in the butt. <laughs> basically. And this person may end up having their reputation completely tainted here and i'm hearing a lot of that's down to their own doing here right there's some sort of sneaky activity to do with someone right that you intuitively knew here with the hermit virgo energy I'm even picking up on if it's not necessarily somebody who is a higher up to you or a boss or what have you. There could have been a co-worker who was taking credit, I'm hearing, for your work. Taking credit. And I, I'm hearing that they may have been given some sort of opportunities because of the work that they, they said that they displayed. And they've been given these opportunities maybe to, maybe to travel or like level up in their career in some sort of way. And you're like, oh, this is just so unfair. 
I feel like you're getting vindicated or you'll be getting vindicated in some sort of way. As I say that seven of swords, geez, this is like liar, liar, pants on fire, right? This is sneaky energy. This is someone who's covertly done something behind somebody else's back on purpose here, right? To make sure that they didn't get caught. And you've been sitting here completely over it because you have intuitively sensed that something wasn't right and... It should have been, I'm hearing it should have been me, not them, to have received whatever this was. And you may have missed out. I'm hearing on a promotion, on a bonus, or um, the opportunity to, I'm even just saying, like, getting, like, to have this, like, time take, that time, time off or something for you to allow yourself to, to be allowed to, to get onto a particular course or what have you, um, for your education and somebody is getting getting caught red-handed and then this is going to bring a lot of peace and stability to you because you feel like you're finally getting um clarity and you're getting you're getting the truth you're getting justice there may be a phone call or an email or some sort of correspondence here to do with um, an institution or a company here with the Hierophant. There's somebody who is like a higher up to them that may be realising or seeing of the evidence of something that's been going on here. And they may have been asking this person if there's anything to do with work, like, you know, to prove that they have actually put in the time, the effort, the energy, and they've been making of the sacrifices to produce what it is that you indeed actually produced. And then they can't come up with the goods. And so therefore they've been found out that way. And then they feel like it's unfair. Um, they feel like they're being cast out here and that they're the victim when actually you were most likely the victim in this particular scenario. I'm also picking up on that there could have been this sense of looking back in retrospect to previous relationships that you have been in and now you have your eyes wide open to realising that you've dealt with a lot of toxicity or like manipulative behaviour or even um, a narcissistic relationship as in um, somebody you were romantically involved with maybe for a long time or someone you had children with maybe even married to I'm getting I'm getting something to do with that they may have you know you and them may have ended like ended your situation because you got out and you've been working on yourself in regards to your own self-preservation and then this person went and moved on with somebody else and then they are then being taken to court or they've got lawyer there's somebody's got lawyers or solicitors involved going over paperwork um because of something that happened when they were in a connection with each other like trouble in paradise i'm picking up like you don't know what's going on behind closed doors somebody may have felt very much trapped in an environment i'm getting something about potential I'm hearing fisticuffs, so obviously I can't really say off certain words, but I'm, I'm picking up on a, a, a not very nice energy and somebody, there could be like a neighbour or someone that's heard of the noise, um, the disturbance to do with whatever this is and they've called up somebody of authority here, like the police, to come through and maybe arrest of someone and take them away um, and they've had to spend a night or 24 hours or so in jail. Um, gosh. Goodness me. Either that, the other scenario I'm picking up on is there's something to do with um, a parent, whether this is your own parent, I'm picking up on that something to do with a mother figure predominantly, but I mean, it could be either way. It could be mother or father or a guardian or someone that was a caretaker of yours that was very, um, 
narcissistic potentially or there was some sort of emotional neglect and I'm picking up on um, something being brought to the surface of realizing how unhappy somebody's childhood was um, Oh, gosh, this is so deep, guys. I mean, this is not going to resonate with everyone, but I'm getting what I'm getting. But whatever this was, you may have been pretending you've been fine for a long time with the Ten of Swords, but you haven't been. Or you may have had to give off the impression to everyone else that you're absolutely fine when you haven't. Um, and this has been very difficult for you because more than anything, you've wanted to be able to speak about it or get advice or assistance or guidance with dealing with whatever this is i'm picking up on like you may have even contemplated on educating or researching in regards to certain topics here um or getting like therapy or you've spoken to somebody um wow guys this is absolutely madness this energy i do, I, I feel like i know this is this is meant to be a general reading, but I'm getting what I'm getting. Again, Ten of Swords, everything is fine coming through again. There's this major, major ending taking place in your life. And there is a new beginning coming through. And it's going to be far better than what you've ever previously experienced up until this point. Some of you have been forced to move or sell your house. Or some of you have felt trapped in an environment with family um, or in a neighbourhood that you're not very um, feeling very safe in. You've wanted to get up and move or you wanted to be in a community that embraces you a lot more. Um, or some of you have been really struggling in regards to um, your finances and keeping a kind of roof over your head or paying off certain bills. And so therefore, it's like... There could be someone that hasn't been paying you what they've been needing to pay you. They've, they've tried to get away with not paying you for um, maybe child support or something along these lines. But they're not getting away with that anymore. But this has left you in a tricky spot for a while where you've really struggled. I'm hearing so many mouths to feed. So maybe you have many children. Pets as well, maybe. What's going on? But I feel like you're having a, um, a conversation with someone who is going to be helping you with... I'm hearing a loophole to do with something that is unfolding. To do with some sort of legal documentation or correspondence. And this is going to really be of great benefit for you. Yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles to allow you to get this extra money. I mean, it may take a while. It's taken a while for someone to pay up here. For you to get compensation in regards to whatever it is. Some of you may have gone to court and you dealt with um, a tribunal, a work tribunal or something to do with a court case or a claim in court. Like could be a, a small, small claim. But I feel like there's this movement, finally, after feeling like not much has been happening or going on, there's finally some sort of momentum picking up whereby there's there's this door that's able to close and you can kind of just get on with your life and you're not going to have something or someone like hanging over your head or bothering you that has been around for a while, like draining of your energy. I feel like there'll be the possibility to go no contact well, oh gosh, I don't know why I just heard restraining order. Somebody may have been breaking the rules to do with a restraining order. And like you've caught them out and you brought it to an authority's attention. And so therefore it's like they're doubling down and making sure that they don't reoffend by doing of that. Like there's, I'm hearing firmer, um like oh gosh like repercussions of their actions like further there's there's something 
something that is being implemented here to make sure that somebody doesn't have the opportunity to do or something again. Okay, interesting. Right, guys, so um, obviously this is a general reading. Please only take the full resonates and leave the rest. I was picking up on loads of different things, so just bear that in mind. But I feel like you're going to be feeling shaken up with whatever news is coming for you, right? But I'm hearing at the end of it all, you will be in this position and place where you're feeling a lot more emotionally fulfilled because you have been able to close that particular door on whatever this is or end of a cycle or I'm hearing end of an era of your life or with whoever or whatever you were dealing with that was causing you so much distress. And we have that contrast from the Ten of Swords that we got twice and then the Ten of Pentacles in reverse to then the Ten of Cups upright, which is beautiful. So it's like something happening where you 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 have wished for some sort of dream to be realised in the in the case of this particular thing or multitude of things is, is closing up for you, where you're finally, I'm hearing, receiving your justice. What else is going on? Yes, the sun card, Leo energy. Things coming to light. Whatever was done in the dark is coming to light. 22 minutes and 22 seconds came through on my timer as this card came through. So yes, Ten of Cups and then the Sun card. I feel like you guys have been stressing a lot and very anxious and worrying about whatever is going to be brought to light. But actually everything is kind of working out in your favour and it's manifesting with the Magician. I feel like you... You carried yourself out with a sense of maturity and grace about this scenario with the best and purest intentions. Like you, I don't feel like you seeked revenge um, or anything like that to do with someone it's giving you this sense of injustice. Like you haven't brought, brought, I'm hearing brought harm to anyone. And because of this, like you're about to be very blessed with something manifesting through that's going to be changing your life. So it feels a lot more peaceful. So it feels a lot more peaceful. Okay. What What's that? Yeah, judgment. Somebody is definitely getting their judgment day. Sagittarius energy. But I'm hearing that the universe has been overseeing and overlooking everything that has been playing out. You know, the universe sees of everything, even when people feel or energies are doing of certain things in the dark, right? Thinking on some level they're not going to be seen or they're not going to have certain consequences or what have you. Like they're getting away of certain things at that moment in time. They may feel like they are, but later on down the line, absolutely not. You know, absolutely not, because there's the law of karma, right? The universal law of karma. And I feel like you are going to be okay, more than okay. And that you actually have a lot of great fortune coming towards you. And unfortunately, there are certain things going on with this other person or these other people who may have taken your kindness for weakness or took you for granted or thought you were naive or thought that you could be easily swayed or distracted or manipulated, you know, have the wool pull over your eyes, whatever. However, this may resonate. They're not getting away with it, okay? They're not. Ace of Cups. See, you're, be you're receiving your beautiful new energy, your new beginning. I'm hearing it's going to be filled with love, light and laughter, okay? And I feel here with the devil energy coming through Capricorn... There's been so much that's been trying to go necessarily against you. I'm picking up on spiritual warfare, psychic attacks, okay? And you've been dealing with a lot to prevent you from having of this new beginning or getting in the way of making you feel and believe that you're not worthy or deserving of anything good happening in your life. But that's all changing. 
you're being hand given it's like you're being hand given some sort of huge blessing that's going to make you feel very happy and it's going to allow you to embrace this new fresh start that you've been wanting for yourself and you've been very patient waiting for your ships to come in in regards to whatever this is or has been and it's like you can create distance or you will be able to create distance some of you are going to be physically moving to um, another part of the world here I'm picking up on something to do with the countryside, something more um, idyllic, okay, is the word I'm picking up on. Maybe a foreign land, maybe somewhere that's warmer, potentially. It doesn't have to be, though. Sunflowers may be significant. Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords coming out? Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Three of Cups, Death Card, Scorpio Energy with the Two of Swords and the Tower. You have been protected from harm's way, especially if you've been at a distance. You admitting defeat in a situation or walking away when you did for your own self, a sense of self-preservation, even though you didn't receive the justice at the time. And you were wondering when certain things were going to work out for you. You've been waiting for this justice to come in. It's coming in. And these other people or what have you are going to be feeling incredibly bitter because they thought they were going to be the ones celebrating when actually whatever is happening is going to be the end of them in some sort of way with the death card. You know. They may have tried to portray some sort of very diplomatic um like they were being fair in some certain things or they try to they put off this kind of front or facade or this mask um that they were law abiding when actually they were the complete opposite You're going to get some money, Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. You don't know necessarily how it's going to come in, when it's going to come in, where it's going to come from with the Seven of Cups. But you're going to be receiving this payout, this compensation. Could be um, in potentially even the next few days. I'm hearing that for some reason as we're still in Virgo season with this Hermit coming through. Or something to do with maybe up until Scorpio season. Even though I know that this is a um, next seven day reading. But there could be something very prominent about that kind of time period. Somebody definitely tried to make sure that you weren't going to be getting employed elsewhere. I just heard that. I'm getting like people are rallying, rally, rally, well, rallying around, trying to make sure that they could build some sort of like case against you to kind of tear down your reputation so that you wouldn't be able to work in a particular um, field ever again. Or kind of have any advancement or development in regards to your career that you may have put a lot of time, effort and energy into. Yeah, absolutely. With the Queen of Wands. There were certain, I'm hearing busy body, well, busy bodies around. That were doing of certain things to rig something in their favour. To prevent you from getting to the next level. Because of, um, I'm hearing jealousy or envy. Or potentially here, they may have felt like they were better than you in some sort of way. And so therefore, they did what they did because they wanted to have the advancement themselves. But I feel like you're going to be the one that's getting blessed here, especially if it's to do with your career or your work or certain projects. What else is going on here? Pisces. The chariot, yeah, you're moving on forward. Cancer's energy. 
with the lovers and the seven of wands you definitely have stronger boundaries with individuals now i'm hearing you're not somebody that's defensive but you know how to protect yourself and your energy and say no to certain things on certain people here okay yeah you may have felt like for a long time you've needed to give yourself the space and kind of block your heart in some way but something has been changing here with the amount of healing that you've done on yourself and you're realizing that you can't carry on living your life in a particular way just because of somebody that may have done you wrong in the past right you can't let that past taint your present and your future and like hold on to it like a grudge or a what have you so i feel like that's something you've been working on here as difficult as it has been I'm not necessarily saying that you're forgiving of these people with whatever it is that they've done, especially if it's been a sense of huge injustice against you. But I feel like you're just letting go and surrendering and realising that you obviously went through what it was for a reason, that there was some sort of soul growth to do with this. And there could have been something to do with um, past life, like um, some sort of past life karma, something to do with your previous life, right? with that judgment coming through and it's like these particular individuals were reincarnated to come back into your life to do us something to make sure that when this I'm hearing happened again that you would have done us something differently and I feel like I'm getting flying colors like you passed the test to do with whatever this was and you broke you broke something um I'm hearing like a a contract or a, a bond or did or something and you're getting this recognition for whatever this is and now you're having this like key to your blessings coming in and you fought hard to get to this position and place and i'm hearing you've done of everything correctly yes with the knight of pentacles i feel like you're now soon um to be blessed with something that's materially going to make you feel um, a lot more solid and stable in your life because of whatever this was that you went through. Gosh, this is a really deep reading. Many things are coming up, guys. But I have tried to do your reading over the past few days. Like, I mean, several attempts at doing of this. And this is like the one of the only readings that have really actually flowed, even though it's been a little bit stop and start. Um, there have been some very significant channeled messages that have come through in regards to this. So this may be very specific, but I'm getting what I'm getting for a reason. Okay, last card. Oh, gosh, I fell on the floor. Whatever this is, is significant. Yeah, the Hierophant. Taurus energy and the Ten of Pentacles. You see how that's now upright? You're being rewarded. Yeah, this some of you, this could have been like a generational curse that you broke. And if it's related to family in some sort of way, you took the higher road, you took the higher path here. You showed maturity. And so therefore, it's like you, you managed to do or something and it's now you're getting rewarded here. Seven of Swords. Also, letting you know, with whatever this comes through for you, if there is a large lump sum of money or something really shifts up to do with your career or your finances or what have you, something that's life-changing, that manifests, that allows you to start off this new life for yourself, right? Keep it to yourself for a little bit until something is fully established, well-established, because there will be others wanting to... I'm hearing to come in and take something from you or they'll feel entitled like, oh, you owe me for this or you owe me for that when you've received of something. It may be like an inheritance, could be something you were gifted in a will. Um, it could be something that you, potentially you have won or you've been rewarded or compensated for. Whatever this is, especially financially, like payment wise. It's important that you keep your next steps that you're trying to manifest for yourself to yourself 
and kind of move in silence very discreetly. And if you do feel on some level like you're wanting to discuss with certain things with someone that could be closer to home, just double, triple check that you feel like you can genuinely trust of what this trust this person um, before you kind of um, put out any information in regards to this. Because obviously you want to protect your blessings. Some of this could some of you could be um, getting a new home. I just heard um, let me upgrade you. Let me upgrade you. You're going to be upgraded. <laughs> Any other final messages? Some of you, this is definitely to do with a divorce. Okay. Maybe getting separated. Divorced. Or there could have been the sense, maybe some of you, you may be a widow or you've been widowed. And there was something to do with the government or some sort of institution where I'm getting something to do with they ended up taking the money and then you didn't get what was owed to you because of something. Something maybe not necessarily written up legally, but you may have been with someone for a long time and then you, you dealt with that grief of that loss. And this person, whoever you with, wanted you to be well taken care of and not have to worry and they had the best of intentions, but then something may have happened where they didn't get round to, to doing like signing the papers or doing of something. It was very, I'm hearing something in, instantaneous, something happened very quickly. Something that couldn't be seen coming. And so there wasn't the possibility of having something sorted out or organised. So that you would be taken care of or your family would be taken care of or something like this and so there was some sort of injustice that you may have kind of lost out and you've been fighting in some sort of way to reclaim back whatever this is or was yeah with the ten of cups Yeah, this has been this has been very burdensome for you. This has been a lot to deal with. You've just wanted something to be over, something to be dealt with so that you can be in this more peaceful energy. But you're getting into that here with the Empress. Taurus Libra energy coming through now as well. Any other final messages? Anything else for Pisces? This is a general reading, guys. So please only take me feel resonates and leave the rest. And please do not force of anything to fit here. Anything else? Temperance, wow. So everything is, is getting moderated. You've been incredibly patient. You are being asked to keep remaining patient and know that everything will work out, even though you've been dealing with a lot of sleepless nights. You may have felt very much alone or isolated or concerned that, you know, you're not going to be getting the assistance that you need in order to resolve or something. And it's been really draining on you. But I'm hearing that your, your spiritual team, God, source, the universe, your spirit guides, ancestors, pass on loved ones, whoever you may feel like. I'm hearing guardian angel as well are all around you, making sure that there are certain things you don't see going on in the background, but they're taking care of it. Yeah, you've got allies, I'm hearing, with the Six of Swords. You see how this person's got their back to this person steering the ship, steering the boat, right? This is like your, you know, your spiritual team taking care of everything for you, getting you and moving you into calmer waters. And you just need to sit and just kind of, you know, manage your thoughts the best way that you can and try to remain hopeful and optimistic that there will be momentum moving forward and that you'll be out of a situation and that whatever is going on, it's going to be temporary and that you'll be coming out the other side. There'll be light at the end of the tunnel, I'm hearing. Yeah, so let them do the work, okay? Let them do the work. Even like I just said to you just now, you don't necessarily see what's going on. This is your energy, Pisces, with the moon. 
they are doing their bit. They're doing their bit to be there. I'm hearing of service to you. I'm hearing all you need is to do is to ask if you're needing extra assistance or help, you know. Yeah, and they'll be there. Look at that. You see how this person here has got their lion next door to them? You know, that protector? They're protecting you right now. And they're standing alongside with you, working together with you to ensure that you will come out the other side and you'll be stronger than ever with the strength card. And I'm hearing you'll have your energy back with the Queen of Wands, your confidence back, you know, everything else, feeling more self having that more that higher sense of self esteem etc like you've got another like you've got black cat here so black cats could be significant as well again sunflowers again sunflowers really significant but anyway guys that's going to be the end of your reading lots of different messages came through um Please only take me full resonates and leave the rest. I'm really not sure what I'm even going to call this reading because it was it was very specific but general at the same time. If you get what I mean, it was a bit paradoxical in some sort of way. So um, I would love to know um, if there were parts of this, some of this or the whole reading that may have resonated with you here. Um, gosh, something about the throat chakra again is coming up. So that could be something important here. But... Um, yeah, we have Leo coming through, Sagittarius, Gemini, Cancer, Taurus, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. Um, any of the other signs I called out may be of significance for you. But we have 111, I'm picking up 1111, 1010, 144, 414, 444, 888, 88, 777, 555. 77 87 I'm picking up but yeah anyway guys that's going to be the end of the read so um thank you guys so much for being here I hope um that there was some messages a few messages if not the whole reading that resonated if you have enjoyed this reading and you wish to support myself and the channel there are donation links available there is a paypal link in the description box below for the channel and the other option is super thanks which is listed underneath this video so thank you so much to those of you who've already donated i greatly appreciate you guys even if you do not financially donate a wonderful way to energetically donate is to like share subscribe comment down below and i get back to you guys on those comments when i can so thank you so much please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when i post another video for you and you don't miss out on future updates or content on the channel and please feel free to check out your sun moon rising and venus mercury and north node placements in the other zodiac signs so you can receive more messages to do with your timeless next seven day current energy check-in reads again as i'm posting of this um it's about your full moon so happy full moon guys and uh wishing you well so sending love and light speak to you soon thank you bye guys